confirmed as Attorney General in May of last year, you were first nominated by President Obama to serve as the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, and you were originally appointed to the U.S. Attorney Post in 1999 by former President Bill Clinton. The existence of Secretary Clinton's private email server was first brought to light in March of last year, one month before your confirmation as Attorney General. A few months after your confirmation, the Inspectors General of State and National Intelligence requested the Department of Justice investigate whether classified information was stored on her private email servers. The FBI then opened an investigation to the matter. Given that she was a political appointee of your current boss, and more importantly, the wife of your previous boss, why did you not see fit to recuse yourself from the investigation? Wouldn't recusal or appointment of a special prosecutor have removed any appearance of impropriety given your service during Bill Clinton's presidency? Thank you for the question, Mr. Chairman. As I've said on several occasions before, when the referral came into the Department of Justice, it was received and referred to experienced, dedicated career agents and prosecutors who handle matters of this type every day with independence, with efficiency, with thoroughness, and the matter was handled like any other matter. Uh, it was reviewed uh, through the chain by those independent career agents and prosecutors. And in considering the matter, uh, there was no connection uh, there was no need for a recusal or an independent prosecutor. Well, and as I indicated before, I'm incredibly proud of the dedicated work that they did over the past year. Well, let me follow, follow up on that then. Two weeks ago, roughly a year into the FBI's investigation and a mere week before Director Comey's announcement, you met privately with your former boss, former President Bill Clinton, on your plane at the Phoenix airport. Why was this meeting particularly in light of your previous appointment by President Clinton, not grounds for recusing yourself. With respect to my conversation that I had with former President Clinton in Phoenix, it was a conversation that was held uh, on the airplane, on the tarmac. Uh, the former president indicated he wanted to say hello, and I agreed to say hello, and we, ended, we had a social conversation. Nothing of um, any relationship to the email investigation was discussed, nor were any specific cases or matters before the Department of Justice discussed. We'll have some follow-up questions to that uh, later, but let me turn your attention to Director Comey's conclusions on a variety of points. Secretary Clinton stated that she never sent or received information marked as classified on her server. Director Comey stated that was not true. Do you agree with Director Comey? You know, Director Comey has chosen to provide great detail into the basis for his recommendations that were ultimately provided to me. He's chosen to provide detailed statements, and I would refer you to those statements. I, as Attorney General, am not able to provide any further comment on the facts or the substance of the investigation. Well, General Lynch, I think you would agree that the ultimate responsibility for a prosecutorial decision does not rest with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, but with the Department of Justice, which you head. Uh, have you not taken a close look at the work done by Director Comey, especially given the extreme national interest uh, in this issue, to make a determination yourself whether you and those working for you uh, agree or disagree with Director Comey? As I've indicated, I received the recommendation of the team, and that team was composed of prosecutors and agents. It was a unanimous recommendation as to how to resolve the investigation so and you, to what the, what do the information that they had received Do you agree uh, with the concluded. conclusion? and I accepted that recommendation. I saw no reason not to accept it, and again, I reiterate my pride and faith in their work. Secretary Clinton stated that she did not email any classified material, and Director Comey stated there was classified material emailed. Do you agree with Director Comey's conclusion about that? Again, I would have to refer you to Director Comey's statements for the basis for his recommendation. Director Comey stated that there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information. Do you agree with Director Comey's statement? Again, I would refer you to Director Comey for any further explanation as to the basis for his recommendations. The recommendation that I received from the team, including Director Comey, but General was Lynch, that the investigation be resolved General Lynch, without charges. Director Comey made a recommendation, but he made a recommendation to the Department of Justice, which you had, uh, and you would have to come to the final conclusion on whether or not to act. I would presume uh, that before you acted, you would look at his conclusions and determine whether you agreed with them or not. 
As I've indicated, I received a briefing from the team, which included not just the prosecutors, but the agents and Director Comey. Their unanimous recommendation was that the matter be resolved in the way in which we've announced, and I accepted that recommendation. Well, let me ask you one final question that does not regard uh, the specific facts with regard to Secretary Clinton. Uh, but Director Comey said that there was not clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws governing the handling of classified information. My question for you is, is intent to violate the law a requirement under 18 U.S.C. Section 793F? Well, Congressman, I think the statutes that were considered here speak for themselves. Uh, to answer further would require a discussion of the facts and the analysis of this matter, which, as I've indicated, I'm not in a position to provide at this time. Again, I prefer you to Director Comey's discussion for that. As I've indicated, the team reviewed this matter, and it was a unanimous team decision. And you made a decision following their recommendation to you uh, that you were not going to prosecute and the matter was closed. Is that correct? I made the decision uh, some time ago that I would accept the recommendation of that team and was awaiting that recommendation. When I received it, there was no basis not to accept it. And again, I reiterate my pride and faith in them. Well, thank you. I appreciate your faith in them. Uh, the concern here is regard to your sworn oath to uphold the United States Constitution and the laws thereunder, including 18 U.S.C. Section 793F and 18 U.S.C. Section 1924, uh, and to conclude that no prosecution would take place without examining and drawing conclusions regarding the questions that I've just asked does not seem to be uh, a responsible way to uphold your constitutionally sworn oath.